Nothing? I'm not gonna lie to you, I just brushed my teeth. Uh <laughs> Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we will be talking to you about some amazing secrets hidden in everyday things. Every day we interact with a countless number of things. When we eat, when we work, when we entertain ourselves. We obviously make use of these tools to facilitate whatever it is that we want to get done. But how well do we know these things? Are we aware of all their features? Or maybe there are some secrets about these things that we didn't know about just yet. Today we'll be looking at amazing secrets hidden in everyday things. Brace yourself for a video packed with secrets that we're sure you didn't know about. We promise you that by the time we make it to the top, you'll have learned a thing or two about stuff that you probably interact with in your everyday life. Welcome to Factosaurus, a channel where we show you the most extraordinary and outstanding videos and information you can think of. Watching each and every one of our videos will keep you elevated throughout the day and will even make your day. For this rundown, we're looking at some amazing secrets hidden in everyday things. With all that said and done, let's get started, shall we? Number 10. Flavored Nintendo Cartridges Our first entry is Flavored Nintendo Cartridges. Have you ever put a Nintendo Switch cartridge inside of your mouth? We hope not. Unless, of course, you're a toddler who still doesn't fully understand the difference between edible and non-edible items. But for that reason, Nintendo has put a bitter taste in their cartridges. Since these things are so small and likely to be messed with by little ones who don't fully know what they're doing, Nintendo made them taste bitter so people can spit it out and keep themselves from swallowing them. Number 9. Bread Tags Our next entry is Bread Tags. This one's pretty obvious, isn't it? Well, that's what you think. But bread tags have more than just one function. Besides being used to help keep your bread fresh and sealed, these little tags also indicate the day on which your bread was baked. For example, if the tag is blue, it means it was baked on a Monday. And if it's green, it was baked on a Tuesday. And then red is for Thursdays, white is for Fridays, and yellow is for Saturdays. This is pretty convenient. And once you learn the color code, you'll easily remember how fresh your bread is. So make sure you eat it before it goes stale. Number 8. The extra pocket on jeans. Our next entry is that little pocket on your jeans. We all have given different uses of that little pocket in our jeans. In our case, we've used it to keep coins and small chains so we can easily access it whenever we need it. Some other people put lip balms and other small objects that we like to keep handy. However, the original purpose of this pocket was to keep pocket watches protected. Back in the day, gold miners were the people who wore jeans the most. They didn't have watches or cell phones like we do today. They had pocket watches and that little compartment on their jeans is what helped them keep their watch safe. Number 7. Colors at the bottom of toothpaste tubes Our next entry is colors at the bottom of toothpaste tubes. If you're a curious person, you probably notice that the bottom of the toothpaste tubes usually have a square that is either red, black or blue. And if you haven't noticed that, you should go find your toothpaste right now and check what's at the bottom of the tube. These colors are not just random. They've been put there to let you know what kind of substance has been used to make your toothpaste. If it's blue, it means it was made with natural elements and some medicine to enhance its effects. If it's green, it means it only has natural ingredients. And then if it's red, it has a chemical composition added to the natural ingredients. And if it's black, then it means it's pure chemical. So there you go. Now you can be a bit more aware of what kind of toothpaste you wanted to buy without having to read an endless list of ingredients. Number 6. Holes in Pen Caps Our next entry would be the holes in pen caps. If you use pens, you probably use their caps to make funny whistles and other funny sounds with. But there is more to these holes in the caps than just making musical instruments out of them. Just like the Nintendo cartridges, these holes have been put there to help people who put small objects in their mouths. There were studies that show that a lot of people choke on pen caps. So these holes were put in to make sure that people can keep breathing while help arrives. It would still be best if no one ever chokes on one of these things, but we guess it's good to know that there is a bit of hope if such a tragedy occurs. Are you enjoying our list? Wait for the last, but not the least, our bonus entry in the list. But before we get further into the list, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on more amazing videos from us. Let's continue with our list. 
Number 5. Tabs on Soda Cans Our next entry is the tabs on soda cans. Soda cans are pretty easy to use, right? There's nothing complex about them. However, some people don't know it, but there is a purpose for those little tabs that you can use to open the cans. You might think that the holes in the tabs are only there to help you slide your fingers in and pop it open, but they're also there to hold your straw and make it more comfortable for you to sip on your drink. It sounds like they put a lot of thought into this, so we better make proper use of it. Number 4. Tic Tac Lids Our next item is Tic Tac Lids. If you love Tic Tacs, you're probably a bit stingy when it comes to sharing them with others. And if you don't know about the proper use of their lids, then you probably shake a bunch of Tic Tacs in your hand and pick a few of them to give to other people. If you look closely though, Tic Tac lids have small indentations on them, so you can fit perfectly one Tic Tac and that way the lid can hold one Tic Tac at a time without having to place them in your hands. Number 3. Orange Bags Our next entry is Orange Bags. The next time you buy oranges, make sure you get the ones that come in mesh bags and don't throw away those bags. If you tie them up and wrap them up nicely, you can make great scrubbers out of them. This will be very useful to clean your sink and other services around the house. And it's also a great way to contribute to the environment by lowering the amount of waste in our house. Number 2. Margins on Notebooks Our next entry is Margins on Notebooks. This one might be a bit old school. We know a lot of you probably don't use these anymore. But in case you do, or at least in case you've seen them before, you notice these margins on notebooks. A lot of people use the idea that they were there to guide you regarding how many sentences you can fit onto one page. Other people use the thought that they were there to allow you to take notes on the side. However, the real purpose of these margins was to protect your work. Back in the day, having rats at home was quite common, and they will usually chew on a lot of stuff that includes paper. These margins help people keep their work in the safe area as rats would usually chew on the edges first and leave the inner part of the paper untouched. Number 1. Hole on Elevator Doors Our next entry is the hole on elevator doors. If you pay close attention to elevator doors, you'll notice a hole in some of them. And if you're a curious person, you're probably wondering what these holes are for. Well, they're definitely not for spying, and they're not there by mistake. These are keyholes that only authorized personnel have access to. This is useful whenever there's an emergency or simply during a maintenance routine. So rest assured that no one is looking at you from the other side of the hole. Instead, they're probably watching you through their security cameras. Now it's time for today's bonus item. Bonus! Panhandle Holes Our next entry is Panhandle Holes. If you don't spend much time in the kitchen, you might be wondering what those holes on panhandles are for. Any ideas? Yeah, they're definitely useful if you want to hang the pans on the walls, but there's also another hidden purpose for those. You can also use them to hold the utensils you're using for cooking. Whether it's a wooden spoon, a spatula, a ladle, or any other tool, you can perfectly fit them into the panhandle hole. This will keep the utensil from getting close to the fire and melt. And it'll also make things more practical, as you won't have to worry about the dripping stuff all over the counter or on top of a clean plate. It looks pretty practical to us. If you looked at today's list, it's quite evident that there are many secrets hidden in everyday things. We can find these secrets and stuff inside our homes and even our rooms, but there's also a lot of secrets and stuff out there that's in public spaces like these brushes on the sides of escalators. Can you guess what they're used for? Let us know about some other amazing secrets in the comment section down below. With all that said and done, see you all next time. Later everybody. Until then, signing off.